Yo, so what's going on, everybody? It's vlog number two. Consistency is key. Um, today's conversation, or today's vlog, excuse me, will consist of me because I honestly feel as an individual on the journey of healing, um, there's no way I can start the healing process and be authentic if I can't keep it real with myself. Not others, but myself. And one of the things I have to keep in mind is um, holding myself to the same standard that I hold others to. So not too long ago, I turned 40. And I said to myself, I'm not going to really put this out there, but anyone who does not communicate with me on my birthday, they're not for me. And me making such a statement like that, I got to take other people in consideration. So I started thinking, I was like, that's how I perceive it. That's how I see it. But let me just go ahead and be 100. I have to accept that there are people who have been a friend to me that I have not been a friend back to in return. So with that being said, if they take offense to it and say, yo, Jay, I don't want to deal with you no more. I have to respect their disposition just as well. They have to respect my disposition. So for me, it was both refreshing to see who actually thought of me and it was insightful to see who did not think of me because some of the people that did not think of me i did not think of them and that's why i say i don't have no ill feelings we just get to the point in time where we got to be real with ourselves i think the last time i looked at facebook said you had like five thousand friends but in all honesty, I don't have 5,000 friends. In fact, I have, I want to say, I talked to my homegirl earlier, and I think I want to say, I got about maybe five good relationships as an adult. Like five people who reciprocate the love, desire to see me as much as I desire to see them, and put forth effort into maintaining our relationship and yeah one of them happened to be a sibling and of the four siblings i have <laughs> that's like 25 percent of my sibling siblings deal with me and that's just how the cookie crumbled but to go back to the conversation we had yesterday it was that you know my sis was telling me my places was basically telling me hey you know You've been hurt, so you don't want to be hurt again. You don't want to be disappointed, so you don't allow certain people to disappoint you again. Because nothing has made me feel more self-destructive than being a friend to people who have not been a friend to me. And the friendships all lie in communication. So to me, you have like three sets of friendships. You got the childhood friends. Trust me. Got two best friends from my childhood that we see each other to the day. It's all love. And one of them, I haven't seen in a few years, and we're literally like two hours away. And it's just like with like uh, several cousins. Like, I might be in Louisville, but I got family in Cincinnati. I got family in Indianapolis. And I've always been that kind of person that doesn't necessarily reach out to people unless I'm in the vicinity. But now I'm like, I don't want to do things like that because I'm taking the chance on you know living and being rejected or hurt or any of those feelings because it's not that it put it to you like this just because I have emotion and because I am um, identifiable as a cancer and uh, I'm sensitive or a little more sensitive than others does not necessarily mean I do not know how to cope and deal with things. I just wear my heart on my sleeve. Like, literally, my heart's on my sleeve. Uh, you can't really see it. There you go. Heart. Oh, I got to turn it that way. I can't really do it when I'm driving. But you get the point. Bottom line is, be a friend to your friends and understand that when you don't put forth the effort into the relationship, you shouldn't be upset if the relationship sours. Scrape up. Peace.